G'day guys, we're just installing some nav lights on the poly boat. Um, we picked up these nav lights, it was a packet of four, it was pretty cheap on eBay. Um, they're not the best quality, but hopefully they'll last. Um, so, I got my magnet as well, and a washer. You can get the magnet on eBay as well. Um, they're a bit more expensive, but um, it's definitely something good to have. Um, so what we're doing, we've just drilled a hole in the side of the boat, in the gunnel, and we've got a bunch of fishing line here. And so basically what we're doing is we just tie this little nut to the fishing line. You just shove it in there. And what we do with this magnet is we just put it on the side of the gunnel. And that basically just holds a nut on the other side of the gunnels. And we just feed it through the gunnels. You gotta go pretty slow, just so the nut doesn't fall off. Um, and I just feed it all the way through. Um, come up here. I just work my way down all the way and right in here we just got our hole so this is where one of the nav lights we're just going right in there um yeah that's about it we just fed it through hey guys it's just a few weeks later um we've really wired up the boat and it's up on the pontoon so just thought i'll do a bit more of a in-depth demonstration of how we fed this nut through the hole um, so make sure you don't have a stainless steel nut, otherwise it won't work. So we just got a steel nut here, tied together with a loop knot. Granny nut will work fine as well. Um, so you just want to feed it through the hole that you have in your boat that you drilled in, or whatever it is. Here we have a pipe, just to show. Um, after you've fed it through, you can just put the magnet up against the hole or pipe. And you should be able to see it slowly feeding through as that magnet moves along. Oh. And now that it's came out, you can attach the wire. Now that we've fed the nut through, we just got to cut the line. Now that that line's cut, we can attach our wire to our line. Just line it up. I've just got a bit of electrical tape here. You just want to feed it around. bit messy but just a couple wraps that's all you really need and then when you got that on the other side of the hole or whatever it is you can just grab your line and you can just slowly pull it through you can just slowly pull it through until it comes out the other side. And when it comes out the other side, you can just take your line out, um, remove the tape, and then you're good to go. You can wire up your nav lights, build a pump, whatever it is, um, and that's about it. All right, so here's where we put our nav lights on the side. They, they fit really nice, they're really nice and slim, these ones. Um, so it's a pretty nice profile. Um, so just behind here is just the hole we had and just where we fed that wire through. So we've just fed it straight through this hole all the way down. It comes out here. Um, and just to protect that wire a bit, we used a little bit of um, conduit and we just connected that with some zip ties to keep it nice and tight. Um, 
just comes all the way down here and into our control box. We just got this control box from Mitre 10, um, but you can get it from any hardware store. Um, and we just got our, connected it up to a control box. Um, you can find these on eBay and they're pretty cheap. That about wraps it up guys. Um, hopefully you learned something new out of this video and you can use it and apply it on your boat at home. Um, so on my channel York York, I'm going to be mainly doing a lot of boating, camping, fishing, maybe even some catch and cooks. Um, so just follow along for the journey.